Hey everyone, this is Melvin from CODUtility.com and I wanted to give you guys another tutorial. This time we're going back into the uh, regular stuff, um, or regular stuff, the multiplayer side of things, or this is actually uh, multiplayer zombie, both um, reflection probes. This is the tor tutorial number seven, and uh, we're going to cover reflection probes, uh, reflection probes, the basics of them basically, and then we're going to cover um, just simply how do you manipulate them into spaces, because not everyone's map is going to be perfectly square, grid-like, or anything like that. We're going to have V's, and we're going to have curves, and all that kind of stuff. So, um, how do you shape a reflection probe to make it fit what you need it to fit, and how do you make that work? Well, it takes some finesse, but we'll get into it. Okay, so let's, uh, let's switch to our scene here. Now, as we go into our scene here, we'll start to see we're in the same map as we, was, we were before. And again, there's a reason for this. I'm going to actually unhide what I was hiding before because I was looking at some stuff. But what we're going to do is we're going to first off, we're going to go right into right get right into it. And we're going to uh, make a reflection probe. So we're going to hit the B key to bring up the Entity Browser. And we're going to type in here Reflection Probe. Or Reflect. And uh, you should see under Unsorted Reflection Probe. We're going to right click on that. We're going to toggle Favorites so that it's always available to us at the click of a button. Okay, so we can close that down. We're back on the 2D uh, window, and as you can see here, we have a reflection probe here. Uh, I should show you this first, and you can see as that's going through the wall. And what's happening is you're getting a cut line when it comes to uh, the processing. As you can see, nothing's reflecting on this side, but on this side here, you're getting a reflection based off of the uh, skybox. Because uh, this area here is proper, properly uh, process this this area here is properly processed and this area isn't so how do you fix that how do you get uh, like how do you get uh, this area here working while you've got the area inside working we'll get to that in a second here so first off uh, we're going to hit escape make sure we have nothing selected we're going to right click we're going to go and find our reflection probe here in our context menu and we're going to click on that there and as you can see the reflection probe pops right onto the floor and we're going to do something really cool here that's uh, something i like to do at least is i like to hold down Control shift grab one of the boxes on the edge here and just pull it out just a little bit and that gives you a little bit more fade between the uh the end of the work and actual areas uh where you won't be able to say part of reflection probe um this will help you uh, dither that out a bit but anyway so you're gonna uh you're gonna play with that a bit like when you do a couple compiles light and dark and play with how you can stretch this out as far as you want and that's hold, hold Control shift and left click on the square and you also want to click on the square you can drag it out so i put that that little bit there so that when i pull it right to the wall just go one click inside the wall you can see hold on we'll go inside the wall here and you can see you can see we're just inside the wall now i can take this part here and pull it back because i'm actually going to keep this part inside the wall because outside of the wall is going to be another reflection probe okay so that side is done you know how to do it both ways and we're just going to pull this out so that it's inside the wall but not, uh, I'm going to actually switch that to a one, uh, on the one grid, one unit grid. I'm going to pull that out. I don't want it outside of the, uh, out of the, of the wall because I want to match to the wall. And actually, to be honest, it, it probably better if I, uh, if I, um, pull this, pull this back here just a little bit more. Uh, let's see if I can get a little bit lower on the grid and see if that works. Uh, okay, well, I think that's going to be it for now. We'll just leave it. You guys will get the point in a minute. Why? Oh, Control-Z. So you got to make sure you grab the dots when you do it. If you grab the, the, the unit itself, it will go outside. So we're going to, again, we're going to make this match up so we're just inside the window. You don't... That should be okay. We're actually, we'll, we'll try and compile and see what happens when it's fluttering on the wall, in a sense, on the same exact uh, plane as the wall, whereas it's inside the wall for these two. Now, with this one here, what we'll do is we'll uh, pull this out here just a little bit, and we'll pull that into the wall so that it's inside the wall, in the middle, oh, in the middle of the wall. You would preferably get it through the middle of the pipes if you can, or just encompassing the pipes. But the actual line to the, to the box is inside the room, see? So, okay, so we're going to leave that one for there for now. We're going to hit Control-C and Control-V, and we're going to bring that volume right down to the bottom one again. And again, we're going to let this one sink just into the floor. And we're going to bring this top volume down. We now basically have two windows done, or two rooms done. So actually, let's bring this unit up, this one. Oh, come on. Ah, there's my sensitive mouse again. Actually, I love this mouse. This is a Razer Death Adder, the newest one, the Chroma. 
and uh, very comfortable in the hand. It took me a bit getting used to because I had the, the other, the uh, 3500. But uh, yeah, I really like it actually, quite a bit. Okay, so for this one here, we've got quite that overlap that we, we had before. We're going to pull that back. Control Shift, left click, and pulling it back. Again, this gets you guys used to the, the idea of um, manipulating this stuff. And so inside that door frame there, I'm not so worried about it because we're going to put some detail brush and it can just be added without the compiling afterwards or whatever at the very end. Or, you know, we can play with that, but then we're not concerned about that for now. So we've got uh, two areas done so far. Actually, yeah, let's pull that back just a little bit because it's now outside. We don't want it outside the room. Let's pull that back like that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, we can either drop a new one or we can just drag and drop. I'm just going to drop a new one. It'll be easy. Okay, so this is how quickly reflection probes can be added to a map. I mean, they're rel relatively, relatively very quickly, actually. Let's see what that's doing. Is that a, yeah, that's a that will do for now. we we'll test that and see what it looks like. It's on the same plane. Put that to uh, uh, one more. There we go. Now, the one thing I will say is you do not want reflection probes overlapping each other. That's why I'm being pretty careful to make sure that everything uh, fits within the room. Uh, the light bleeding you see at the, at the ceiling there, we'll get into that later. That's not something we're going to cover in this tutorial, but there is ways to correct that. That's just something that happens here and there. Um, okay, so um, let's see. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so we're good for that. Now, we've got three light probes in here. I think three, you got one, two, and three. Why three? Um, the light probe can only see, can only process what it can see. So if you're on this side of the wall and there's something on this surface you want to be covered, it's not going to be handled properly uh, by this light probe. It needs to be handled by one that can see it. That's if this is uh, structural. If this is a detail, it's going to go right through it. And at that point, I'm not sure if it does both sides correctly. I think it might, but uh, again, that's something that I have to ask um, someone at Treyarch. Um, just to get confirmation, know for sure. Uh, one of the other testers might know. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, so as far as I know, this is, uh, I think this is done, this building here. We're going to go and do one more over here. Well, over here so we can show you guys the cutting tool, the way to cut uh, prefabs. Uh, reflection probes, how to cut reflection probes. Okay, so for this one here, again, we've got, we've got stuff on the inside of the building. So we're just going to drag, oh, no, control Z. I'm just going to drag this one out just a little bit. Get it inside the wall just a tiny bit. We're going to bring this one here into the wall so it meets up with the wall. And we're going to go down to here. Another reflection probe can be put into this area. I would put some sort of structure here to break it up, most likely, even if it has a doorway. But either way, it can be lined up and met up. You just don't want them overlapping. Remember that. Okay, so we're going to take this here just for this example. We're going to bring this past here to this corner. Why the corner? Because, well, it just it works easier. We're going to actually go right around the corner just like that. So the line is as close as we can to the corner. Okay, now as you look down in the 2D window, you'll see this here, this reflection. Well, we want to go right along that line if we can. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up in, into the top here to light. We're going to click on light, and then we're going to go to convert probe to a from box. Okay, you're going to see this box here. We're going to hold down the, I think it's alt, and left click. That's going to bring up a ruler, as you can see. We're just going to roughly match that as much as we can, staying inside that box, the inside of it just a little bit, and give that a clip. Now, if we go and look at this, we'll see that's very few. Now, this this will be undone in a second here, but I'm just going to give you guys an idea. Clicking the four grade grid here, and then hollowing it out with the uh, CSG um, tool. When you um, select this here, pre, uh, this here, uh, sorry, it's like this here probe. Uh, you'll see it's not inside the room it's inside the wall so that's again that would mean that this room could be um done now we'll get into angled buildings don't worry about that how to set up angled buildings properly we do prefabbing for that but uh to set up angled buildings properly to make them all line up the grid and everything to be right um you don't want to be building on an angle per se because it's not necessarily obviously if you know you know geometry is square from corner to corner is not the same length as from side to side um, so that being said, uh, we're, I think we're good now. And what we're going to do real quick is we'll just give this, uh, a compile. And so we're just going to go in here and hit the light and you'll see at the bottom here, uh, it's saying updating probe zero of six. So it's going to bounce light off and this will take a little bit of time. Uh, but, uh, realistically it's actually pretty quick and I'll, I'll just sit here and go through this with you. Um, so you guys can see 
And we'll say that when it comes down to, to reflection probes, you want to use as few as possible. You don't want to be putting a reflection probe every five feet, but you also at the same time don't want to be using one across the whole map. Using one across the whole map, again, will give you not so great lighting results. Again, if you want to see some lighting that's not so well done, look at uh, my map that I just released a preview of. It's, it's under 24 hours of build, or about 24 hours of build time, say. And in there, I have one reflection probe, I think, or maybe there's three or four, but the point being is they're not done perfectly. They're not properly done. Uh, lighting needs a lot of work in that map. Now, if you look at something like uh, alleyways, you'll see that there's a lot more nuance in the lighting because there's reflection probes installed, at least somewhat accurately. Um, some of them still need a little bit of tweaking to make them perfect, but when it comes down to it, they are, are doing a lot better. As you can see, the lighting's already improved. Lines are cleaner and sharper and all that stuff. You'll see lines behind things. And again, we don't have any lights set up here. So um, yeah, it does make a difference uh, when you work with this stuff. It definitely does make a difference on what will show up, what won't. And don't be, might be a mistake that this might actually end up being not so well done. Then you go in there, you adjust and you fix and you get it back to normal again. Um, realistically, this uh, lighting process is, is, well, I mean, it's way better than we had before. You can actually build stuff and then you can preview it without even, uh, you know, uh, what we call compiling the map. Um, so I think we got into compiling already, at least to some small degree. If you guys have any questions about stuff, leave in the in the comment section below. Yeah, so here, you see, I think that uh, is the problem right there. Hold on. Yeah, so we need to go like so for this to work all the way up. Bring this one all the way up. Oh. If we, oh, we, oh, because it's cut, we can't. So yeah, make sure you got the right shape. But you want it all the way up to the top of the building, so you don't have any, um, so you don't have any lines. Then you actually, it's actually a really good example because this shows you. This is what we had before. There's no refractive light being processed or any of that. Here you have the light being bounced off this surface and this surface now actually brightening brightening this up while laying a shadow in that's defined. Um, there is a there is a nice uh, detail to it. Now, I mean, it comes down to you can get away with not using reflection probes in places, but as you can see, when you come from the outside, come to the inside, everything's starting to make more sense now, right? Um, there's the door light, the hard light in the door, and all that. Um, again, uh, looking better, right? So, I mean, as we go, we'll learn more. We'll get into it. If you guys have questions, if I didn't explain something properly, or or you want more clarification, let me know, and I'll clean it up in the next video, or I'll do an addendum or whatever.